What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Taylor and this is Tay's Toys. In today's video, a little special video, <laughs> I feel like I maybe say that in every video, but it's for real this time because it is my birthday weekend. Uh, my birthday was yesterday, March 3rd. Shout out to my Pisces. Um, and yeah, I have a bit of a birthday haul. I got quite a few things uh, from myself and from my boyfriend. <laughs> uh, as you can see here, I have a little haul from Miniso. Um, not just Miniso though, I went to the mall and grabbed some things from there and we went to the Pop Mart blind machine and got a bunch of boxes, like $200 worth of blind boxes. Uh, oops, also thank you, Timothy. <laughs> Uh, and then I also got some stuff in the mail that he ordered for me for my birthday and some things that I ordered for myself. Um, so those will be split up into some different videos. Uh, but today, in this, this video, I want to do a little birthday haul. And today, the mini soap bag, you see it? So here is the haul that we got from the mall. Um, I got a couple of things from the mini soap store really just these uh, Sanrio characters rocking horse series and this My Melody Secret Forest Tea Party series <laughs> super cute and then the rest of these we actually got from the Pop Mart um, vending machine at the same mall uh, and we really balled out like really drew quite the crowd at the vending machine. It was a little, a little ridiculous. Um, but this haul is a little ridiculous, honestly. Um, so yeah, this is what we got from today's shopping. Should we get into it? Should we open some boxes? Where do we even start? I guess I can show you some of the other stuff I got before I start unboxing. Uh, so we got the two My Melodies from the mini set store. And from Pop Mart, we got the Monsters Fruit Series. I think all of these are super cute and I wouldn't be mad about any of them. Um, the coconut one's cute because Labubu is blue and pear is also really nice and I really like strawberry and watermelon and peach and orange. <laughs> Grape, I mean, look. And the secret one uh, looks really cute as well. Looks like it's some sort of king or knight on a fruit castle. I don't know. Is it a fruit salad, fruit cake? Anyways, excited about that one. And then this will be a first for me and the channel is Yuki Evolution. The box doesn't really show you what we're getting into. Um, but they're like these little ghost, like sheet ghost looking monsters and they often have like, their insides like on display. Uh, but it's, it's a lot cuter than what I just described, I promise. And then we have an Instinct Toy uh, Joyful Monster Fluff. <laughs> I just recently unboxed the Mucky Dreamland from Instinct Toy and I really like that. Uh, I just have a single figure from there. And I was hoping to get another one from that series from this uh, Vinny Machine haul, but it looks like they were sold out of that one. Uh, but same artist, just a different series uh, for this one. Uh, so I'm excited to see who we get. I think for me, I'd really want to get Flowey, or Cupid maybe, or Dreaming Time, looks really cute. And The Secret, of course, I really want The Secret. These are all super cute. I really like the, all like the translucent and rainbow plastic that they use. Um, yeah, and it looks like one of these at least is like a, has a shaker detail. It's filled with a lot of smaller parts, so that'd be cute to get. We'll see. Next up, we got three more blind boxes from Skull Panda's Ancient Castle series. I have a few figures from this already. Um, I have the gargoyle and the nurse and vampire, and I also have Bellringer, the one on the front. 
and I'm really happy with all of those. Um, but for this one, starting from the top, I'd really like to get Chamberlain, uh, Fake Evil, Boring Explorer, Bloody Rose, or Baby Zombie. Um, if I had to choose just one, like I really want Bloody Rose, and Baby Zombie is a close second. Um, and I got three of these, so there, there's a decent chance that we'll, we'll get one of them for sure. Or maybe we'll get a repeat, and if that's the case, I'll, I'll give one away. And then, for the last series, I got the new Pucky Rabbit Cafe, and I got like five of these, um, because I'm crazy. But this series is really cute. Um, they're all cafe themed, of course. Pucky's own little Starbucks moment. And there's a lot of um, like rabbit details in this, which is really cute. Lots of pinks and browns and some greens. Um, yeah, I'll be happy for a lot of these. And we're gonna get a lot of these, so. If I had to choose a top favorite, like the Rabbit Cafe one looks really cute. The one on the cover. And the cafe menu is super cute. The pink bunny holding up the menu board. Yeah, or the coffee bean bunny. Top three for sure. Rabbit Waitress though. I mean, fingers crossed. Okay, so I think that's all that we got for this haul. So I think we can start unboxing some boxes now. I kind of want to start with the things I got from Miniso, just to kind of do things in, in order of how we hauled them. Um, I already have one of the Rocking Horse figures from this series. I got the My Melody on the cover, actually, with her ears up. Uh, so I'll be happy to get um, hopefully some of the other ones from this. Honestly, I would be happy with the second My Melody from this series with the ears down and the eyes closed. I think that looks super cute. Cinnamon Roll and Pachaco will be absolute faves. I really want Cinnamon Roll and Pachaco. It looks super cute. And Cinnamon Roll's birthday's coming up, uh, if you didn't know. Right now, as a recording, it's March 4th. Cinnamon Roll's birthday is March 6th, so I mean, there's a good chance. I think there's some good choo-choo on this box for Cinnamon Roll. Uh, and then for this one, the little tea party situation, I think I'd want to get the girl's diary or the wedding dress robe figure from this. Um, let's see who we got. I feel like the Sanrio blind boxes always surprise me with how big they end up being. I don't know why, they just look so tiny and the boxes are online, but in person they're like really sizable. Oh, cute! So we didn't get the, um, the two that I just said I really wanted, but this one's really adorable. I like the blue and the pink with this. She's got a big old bow on her head, a really nice blue bow. Um, she's got some really nice like floral floral prints on the bottom of her dress. Very fluffy and soft. I'll take it. And she does come with an accessory. This one's actually really cute. It's like a whole nother little figure. Like mini figure. She's got like a little stuffed rabbit who matches her outfit really nicely. This is her little rabbit buddy, a little stuffed animal. Super cute, I love that detail. Yeah, it's not like she can hold it per se. I think it's just gonna have to like sit next to her. Um, but this is her and her little stuffed bunny, super cute. Yeah, it just kind of falls over. Inside the box we have like this little mini so puck and her illustration card. This is cute. Her uh, rabbit in this illustration card is pink though, where mine's white.
cute. Not a bad way to start off the haul. I'm really excited to see what we got for this Rocking Horse series. I really, really want cinnamon roll. I don't like try not to throw it back too much. Because it should be pretty obvious if it's cinnamon roll or not. Oh, sweet. Okay. On with the My Melody theme. This is actually really cute. Um, of course not Cinnamon Roll, and not Pachaco, uh, but I will live on. And although I do have the other My Melody for this series, and some may think that's kind of unlucky, I actually really like this one with the ears down uh, quite a bit. Um, I just think it's a different, different vibe for sure, and I like the the hat that she has on, the sort of green ombre that it has, it's really nice with the purple and her pink. Um, yeah, her little toe beans, really cute. She has a little bow on the back of her dress. The purple bow on her hat matches her purple dress, which I really like. She's got like a blue bonnet and some little stars in her ears. Very, very cute. And her rocking horse is really cute. Here is her rocking horse. I really like the colors on this. Soft blues and purples, and a little pink saddle. Yeah, that's really sweet. Yeah, different colors than the other My Melody that I had. So this comes with a little sticky pad to help the figure rest on the horse. So we're gonna get that set up. In a way it's like, I don't wanna say completing the set because it's only two, but there's two My Melody figures in this set and I got the two different My Melody. So, I mean, I'll take that as a win even though I would have been over the moon for Salmon Roll or Pachaco as a close second. Okay, so we're getting the adhesive strip on here. And we'll just press and hold that for a little bit. She's so cute, she's so precious. Very pastel. Very my color, love this. She just, she's had a, a hard day of playing and it's just tuckered herself out. <laughs> just fell asleep on her rocking horse. Same girl, same. She's so precious. Nice, come on my melody. <laughs> Cute. And here is her illustration card. So next up we have the Joyful Life Monster Fluffy by Instinct Toy. This will be the first box we unbox from the Pop Mart vending machine from this video. Um, like I said, I'd really want to get the Flowy or the Dream, Dreaming Time. Um, or the secret. The secret would be amazing, but I don't know. I don't think we got the secret in here. The secret seems like it'd be pretty heavy. But I am excited to grow my Instinct toy collection. Oh, we got Flowey, the one I wanted. Oh, cute. So other than the secret, I think this is the one I would have wanted the most. And that ended up happening to me with the last time I pulled a Instinct Toy single blind box. I got the one I wanted most. This <laughs> it comes with a little buddy. And they both have these little hair ties, little bows in their hair. That's so cute, what the heck? And they do have little fluffy bits on the inside, but it's not like a rattler like I thought it was gonna be. 
um, yeah, they just kind of stay in place, but it, it is cute nonetheless. It has a really cool effect uh, with the clear plastic kind of showing the colorful insides. Um, yeah, it has all these little spikes on it, and you can see the hair ties. All the little bows are really cute. Nice clear and rainbow detail. And it's little paws, I don't know if you can see, um, they're not clear. You can see it's sets of paws, it's little feeties and toe beans. This is super cute. <laughs> they look so cute together too. Wow. So far so good, am I right? That's so cute. Here is Flowey's illustration card. <laughs> Cute. So next up, I'm excited to open up these boxes from Yuki. Yuki Evolution. Um, this looks like it's maybe the fourth series. I was thinking I was only going to get one of these because the the sculpt is pretty much like very similar between all the figures. You just get kind of different colorways uh, for most of them. Sometimes they change up the form just a little bit, um, but they're all really cute. And Timothy said that we can ball out today, so I did. I did get two. They kind of give me similar vibes to what we just unboxed with Instinct Toy. Like cute little monsters. I'm really excited to see who we got. Oh, nice! <laughs> we got like this nice ombre pastel sunset colorway. You can see all the little. the weird monsters or squishies inside of. Yuki, I guess. It's like one big monster made of a, a bunch of smaller ones on the inside. That's so cute. It's got some nice spike details on the back. That's really adorable. I love all these little guys on the inside. And Yuki's little face, his tiny dumb little teeth and eyes. So cute. Yeah, the paint job on this is nice. Cute. And we did get an illustration card. This is Coral from Yuki Evolution. Okay, next we're gonna do the second Yuki box. So like I said, the box doesn't really show you what the different designs look like. I of course saw them when I was uh, shopping, uh, but you know, there's a lot of blind boxes, so I kind of forgot the options. Um, I hope we get something good. <laughs> something a little bit different than what we just got. Uh, but that was a good first pull for Yuki for me, so I'm pleased. some like glitter poop like <laughs> it's like brown rainbow glitter this is so crazy this is not what I was expecting I like forgot that this is even a possibility this is so strange you can't even see its face I can feel its little beady eyes like I can feel the texture of it What's weird is I can even feel some texture in this paint. Like I think I can like almost feel the glitter. It's crazy. Uh, but the figure is also like um, translucent and maybe hollow on the inside. So I can, I can kind of like see through it a little bit in a way. It's interesting. 
Not a first pick for me, honestly. Uh, but it's interesting for sure. <laughs> Definitely different than what I just pulled. The spikes are slightly different, I think. Uh, maybe not. I'll take it, I'll take it. I'm not mad about it, I'm not in love with it, to be honest. Very different than anything else in my collection, though. And this one's called Golden Sand. There's the illustration card. Golden Sand, huh? It doesn't look too golden to me, but I'll let them have it. Next, we have the Monsters uh, Fruits series. Um, I'm really excited about this one. I just recently unboxed um, the Monsters Candy series and was really pleased with what I got in that. And all these are really stinking cute. Like I said before, I like a lot of these, but if I, I had to choose for just one. Hmm. I don't know, y'all, that's tough. <sighs> Maybe peach? Watermelon's really cool though, and so is strawberry. Look, don't make me choose, and I won't let you make me choose because this is my channel. <laughs> We're gonna see what we get. I like see an accessory at the top, and I'm trying not to look at it. Oh my gosh. I think I know what we got. Yes, <laughs> so the accessories uh, spoiled it for me. So we got the grape. This guy's like mashing grapes with his feet. His little pants have grape stains on them. Grape juice. He's really cute, I like his outfit. And I like um, his green fur. Really cute. So here we have this base, which is a barrel of grapes and grape juice, and there's a little peg for La Boo Boo to stand. It's got a little spout on the barrel for when they're ready to harvest their grape juice. And then there is a little bunch of grapes for La Boo Boo to hold. Grape in hand. He's really cute. Love his little red nose and the blushes on his cheek and his big old teeth. His outfit is nice. The grapes look really great, honestly. Uh, all the details are there. I love his gray fur. Like this specific color green goes really nice. That's really cute. And here we have his illustration card. So the back of it's really nice. It's really cute, actually. And then here is Grapes card. Yeah, this is really cute. This is like one of my favorite illustration cards, actually. Okay, so next we have the remaining boxes. We have Ancient Castle, three for these. And we have Pucky Rabbit Cafe, which I'm really excited about. We have five of these. I'm tempted to open up Pucky, since this will be new for me. I do have a few of the Ancient Castle boxes already. Um, we just opened up something food related, so I'm in the cafe kind of a mood. Yeah, let's do Pucky. <laughs> These are all really cute. Um, honestly, I want any of the bunnies. Pinks, I'll take the pinks. Uh, I do like the browns in this figure, or in this series. Um, yeah, a little coffee grinder and the baristas, the waitress, strawberry pancake. The latte is actually really cute. The slushy is really cute. It's all really cute. Let's open the box. <laughs> oh, snap, baby. Right off the top, <laughs> we got the cafe. So I think we got the one on the box? Yeah, definitely. That's so cute. I feel like that's a, like a must get for this series. Part of me is thinking like, should I even get just a few boxes from this series or should I just save up and get like the whole set? Um, you know, 
You don't want to be like short staffed, understaffed at the cafe. So I wanted to get all of them, but honestly, I'm just really happy that I got this one in particular. <laughs> so here's the the pucky bunny. He's so cute. I love, like I said, this like espresso brown coloring for the suit. It has like a, um, I don't know what these are called, fashion bib <laughs> in black and white, little red bow. Um, the hair is like a nice latte beige, I don't know. And the ears have the tiniest little bit of a gradient on them uh, to like a lighter brown. It's really cute. Pucky's just laying, propping his head up, holding an open sign, which we're gonna get into the hand right now. And they're resting on top of the cafe. That's so cute. I like the colors of the cafe, like the blue and tan. It's really cute. I'm like, Is this the scale? Like, does their cafe look like this, but just bigger? And they have a humongous pucky on top of the cafe? Or is this a regular sized pucky on a small display of the cafe? Maybe both can be correct. It's really cute. <laughs> Oh, and here is the illustration card for the Rabbit Cafe. Very cute, it's like a little ticket. Okay, number two for the Rabbit Cafe. I'm really excited for this one. I'm gonna try and not spoil myself with the accessories. I really want to get the waitress with like the pink hair and the bunny ears. Mmm, okay, so not that one on this one. Not that one on this one. <laughs> we got the like pucky cookie. Cookie pucky. Little polka dot suit. And pucky sits on top of three chocolate covered cookies. Oh, that's really cute actually. So cute. Yeah. The chocolate sauce drip on the cookies is a nice detail. And the like M&Ms throughout the cookies uh, are seen in the polka dots on Pucky's little suit. I'm not like the hugest fan of polka dots, but I think this works really nicely. Um, tying in the M&Ms with the cookies on the suit. Yeah, it's really sweet. We love that. Again, another fashion bib moment. This one is a yellow fashion bib by Pucky. <laughs> Little blue eyes and like reddish brown hair on Pucky. It's like a little baby Pucky. Chunky. Chunky in her onesie. Cute. Illustration for Poco Cookie. Okay, box number three. Okay, put some good juju on this for the waitress. If I don't get the waitress on it, I'm actually gonna be just a little bit sad. Ooh, but I'm not sad about this. This is a strawberry pancake. Look how freaking cute that is. Pucky is a white rabbit holding a strawberry. Pucky has brown hair, a little blush, and this pancake is folded up like a little taco. A little pancake taco bed for Pucky. It's like covered in honey or syrup of some kind. It's actually really sweet. I really like the translucent plastic use on this for the honey. The strawberry is perfect. I love that. Are we eating Pucky, or did Pucky fall asleep in the food? I don't 
know. What does Pucky even taste like? The ears are nice. Like the ears and the feet seem to have a little bit of a like dusty gray brown shade to them. So it's not just all white on the rabbit suit. Just like a small, small little detail. But I appreciate it. It's so cute. This is Strawberry Pancakes Bent Illustration Card. Okay, we have two more Rabbit Cafe boxes and three Ancient Castle Skull Pandas. Let's switch it up and do one or two from the Ancient Castle. I'm a little nervous we're not gonna get some of my all-stars from the Pucky Cafe, so we're gonna switch, switch gears. So I have three or four of these already, so there's a chance we can get some duplicates. Um, so let's hope that we don't. But they're all cute. Skull Panda's always really good. Like, Skull Panda's one of my favorite um, series for sure. Let's see who's in the bag. Oh, cute! So this is Fake Angel, I believe. And this wasn't one that I was, like, dying to get. But honestly, in person, so much better. My goodness, my cat boy is being crazy. So cute. The green of the hair is really cute. And I love that the balls on the side of the head, um, like semi transparent, but not really. Uh, they kind of look cloudy in a really nice, satisfying way. Um, nice blushing on the face. The eyes are kind of a yellow green. And the horns are kind of a gray-brown that goes really nicely with the green hair, in my opinion. A little halo on top of Skull Panda's head. Big old bow, like a nice pearly, pearlescent uh, bow on the back. And little devil wings on the back. Little devil wings on the back of this fake angel. And on the foot, you can see the little devil's tail. It's like a, a devil in, in disguise as an angel. The gloves are really nice. I love the little ribbon trim on the gloves and the little cross on the chest. All of these details are stunning. There's a little uh, cross on the cheek underneath the eye and the eyebrows are really cute and rounded. That was a nice surprise, I really like this. It'd be cute if we got the fake devil uh, to go with us as a pair, that'd be sweet. Here is the card for Fake Angel. Yeah, we have to get Fake Devil now to go with this. It's a must. So it looks like this comes with an accessory. I try not to see what it was. I feel like it's probably not Fake Devil. Oh no, so this is a uh, the bell ringer. It's gonna be a duplicate for me, actually. I thought so with the accessory. That's kind of a bummer, but it just means I have something I can give away now. And this figure is actually really cute, really pretty. I just have it already. She's covered in plastic. Um, I'll have to work to get her out. Okay, here we go. <laughs> she took a little bit of assembly, um, but this is our bell ringer. Very spooky and pretty. She just got little cross details uh, on the side of her head, on her little balls, as well as in her eyes, on her pupils. Like nice, very light lavender and dark purple eyes. Uh, and she herself is white with some black fingers and feet. Um, dark brown round eyebrows. I really like her makeup, the uses of pink and like rosy reds and pinks. She's really cute, great makeup. Really love the clear cloak that she has on. 
get like a black little diaper or something. <laughs> I don't know. And even like a little skull detail on her arm. She's really cute. Um, I'll probably give this to Timothy. He's got a few skull panda figures already that he's unboxed himself. Uh, so this can be added to his little skull panda set. Um, yeah, not one of the ones I wanted, of course. Uh, don't love dupes, but it's a gift I can give to somebody else. So that's kind of sweet. And here is the Bell Ringer's illustration card. Okay, let's wrap up the ancient castle. I'm really hoping we get the Bloody Rose or Baby Zombie. But you know, I did just say we need the fake evil to go with the fake angel. I need those three and I'll be real happy. Okay, let's see who we got. Ooh! <laughs> so we got one of the ones I wanted. Uh, not the fake evil, but the baby zombie. Uh, I think that's what this one's called. She's so cute. I love the rosy pinks in this and the sort of blue-green, green-blue eyes, purple eyeliner. The bandages are done really well. The fingers are kind of brown. A bunch of roses on the back of the headpiece. It's very sweet. The eyebrows are white, and there's some white freckling on the face. Uh, and you can see there's some pink, I don't know what, the, what these are called, helmet balls, the balls on the side of Skull Panda's head. They're pink, but they're all bandaged up. She's really super cute. Really, really happy we got this one and not a duplicate. He's so sweet. Yeah, I don't think I have a Skull Panda really in this color palette yet. This is really nice. This is more like sweet than spooky for me, which is nice to balance out the other ones from this series. Really happy we got this one. Here is Baby Zombie's illustration card. So that's all for the Skull Panda Ancient Castle. Now we have the two Pucky Cafes to do. Um, the Pucky Rabbit Cafe, excuse me. So we've unboxed the Rabbit Cafe figure on the front and the Strawberry Pancake and the Paco Cookie. I really want us to get the cafe menu or the rabbit waitress or the coffee bean. Those three would be stellar for me. And I'd be okay with any of the puckies in a cup, like the rainbow slushy or the poco latte. Okay, let's see who we got. Oh, cute. Not one of my all stars, um, but we have a little barista guy. Let's see what accessories it comes with. Yeah, so this is actually kind of cool. The accessory at least is like a fancy um, coffee brew machine. Looks like, a, like an hourglass of sand. Um, yeah, the like plastic piece in here that like is supposed to represent the coffee kind of moves just a little bit. Like it's not all one piece of plastic, which is interesting. So this is cute, I'll take it. Definitely lets us know that we're in like a, you know, a cafe. And this is the Poco Barista's illustration card. Yeah, not a, an absolute favorite of mine, but um, you know, I'm okay with the, uh, the colors on this. I like the kind of maroon red and the earth tones with this little blue apron that has Pucky's face on it. Like it's cute enough, it's simple. I think this would be like a good like filler piece if you have the whole set. Like it really kind of ties it all together. Uh, but for me, funnily enough, it's the accessory um, for the coffee. It actually really makes this figure uh, nice. Okay, y'all, 
for real this time. This is the last box, not of just the Pucky Rabbit Cafe, but of this this part of the birthday hall. <laughs> um, I really want this rabbit waitress. I think we're gonna get this rabbit waitress. Rabbit waitress. <laughs> this rabbit waitress. I know we're gonna get it. We have to. <sighs> Wish me luck. Oh my gosh, fingers crossed. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh, so this has got to be the coffee pucky, coffee bean. Oh my gosh, it's this small little brown pucky rabbit. And he's got little espresso beans on his head. The brown of the like, bunny body uh, isn't just solid, like there's some lighter brown tips on the fingers, or on the hands, and on the feet, and on the ears. It looks so cute. It actually looks really tasty. Oh my gosh. Comes with a bag of coffee. The unicorn dark roast. Bucky sits inside of the coffee bag. That's so fucking cute. Gosh, look at this. Look at it. That's adorable. I'm really glad we got this one. So cute. I mean, it kind of works out. We got our coffee, we got the barista to make the coffee, we have the cookie to go with the coffee, and then we got like the whole freaking cafe itself um, with Pucky sitting on top of it. That's so cute. And here is Coffee's illustration card. Really cute. That was my part one of my crazy birthday haul. Um, this is like a solid set, y'all. Like, I'm not mad at any of these. We did get a duplicate and we did get a weird glittery brown thing. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> um, but everything else is super cute. And like I said, with the duplicate, I can give it away. And all the other ones, I'm really happy with. Like, they all look pretty good together. I think they're going to really add a lot to my collection. And I'm happy to play with them and set them up and see where they look best. Um, let me know what was your favorite from this series. <laughs> and for me, um, it's hard to choose, right? Like, they're all my babies now. But, oh my gosh. No, y'all, what's my favorite? Oh, don't make me do it. How can I choose between these babies? I really like Baby Zombie. Can I do a top three? Are y'all okay with the top three? I really like Baby Zombie um, from Skull Panda Ancient Castle. And I do really like the instant toy, the flowy the two-for-one figure. It's really stinking cute. The rainbow and clear plastic. Mm. I mean, I'm really happy with all of the other ones, honestly. Um, I like the My Melody on the Rocking Horse, and I like all the Pucky Cafes, and mm. but my final pick for my top three is going to have to be the Coffee Pucky. Coffee Grounds Pucky. <laughs> Little brown bunny in his coffee bag. It's adorable. Uh, I really don't see Pucky using this kind of plastic a lot with the others that I've gotten, so this is kind of like different uh, for texture and material it seems. Uh, but I really like it. I think it works really well. They managed to use a few different shades of brown in a really nice way. Um, I think it's great. So those are my top three. I love them all, but tell me down below who you liked. Uh, do you have any of these series? Uh, and if you do, who do you have? Um, I'd be interested to hear. I really want to get more NSYNC toy um, series for sure. And I mean, I'm pretty happy with the Pucky Cafe set. Well, I say that, but I really do want a couple of the other pink bunnies. Um, 
I've gone through a good bit of the Ancient Castle series so far, and I've only gotten one repeat, so maybe I won't do any more of those uh, unless I see them for sale for this specific figure. Um, I really like the Monsters Fruit series, and I might pick up a few more of those boxes if I come across them. Um, solid haul, y'all. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Um, thanks for being here with me on my birthday. Um, even if it's in the future or whatever, you're still here with me in spirit. Uh, time is not linear, so I appreciate you. Thank you <laughs> uh, for all the birthday wishes. If you gave me any birthday wishes, <laughs> I don't know. Just just give me a like. That's what I'll ask for my for my birthday. Give me a like. Give me a, a comment down below. Say happy birthday or tell me uh, what your favorite figure was from this haul. Um, I'll have a few more videos coming soon for this roundup of birthday hauls. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.